welcome welcome back guys today i'm going to be sketching dark seed or dark side however you want to pronounce it but it's really dark seed and um yeah i'm gonna do this drone is going to be a bust bust drone and it's only going to be of dark side's head and i'm going to do it in this sketch form so i'm going to walk through with you guys uh, step by step of how I'm going to draw him. So I'm going to do a combination of uh, a combination of the Snyder, uh, Snyder cut version of him and the one from the comics if that makes sense. So I'm going to do a combination of both. So I'm going to start off. So I'm going to do, it's going to be a bust, but he's going to be looking down. So I'm going to do the mannequin first, try to get the direction of his face. So I'm just measuring how big I want his face to be. Uh, on the page so it's gonna be like about that big and then he's gonna be looking down so the cross the bottom of the cross is gonna be lower on the vertical axis the vertical axis of the face so it's gonna be more lower like down here like that all right hope you guys can see that on the page Make it a little bit darker so you guys can see. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out the shape of his head. He has a oval, sort of like an oval shape, but it's sort of round. So I'm gonna just try to. Um, the bottom of his head is is where his chin lands is wider than the top of his head so i'm going to try to make sure that i portray that so the bottom of his chin if I, if I bring it down here it's pretty wide like that then i'm just going to go up right now i'm just trying to get the general shape of his head this and it's gonna go up like so all right so that's like the general idea of what I'm thinking of when it comes to the shape of his face I'm just gonna draw like maybe he's looking down like that where his shoulders are gonna be that's his shoulders guys if you're just joining me thank you for joining me today I'm doing dark seed or dark side however you want to pronounce it and I'm um, just gonna be doing a bust sort of like a head portrait I'm gonna be doing a combination of the Snyder cut version of him and the one from the comics so it's gonna be a combination of the two so I'm gonna make sure figure out where I'm going to put his nose. So I'm going to start from his nose. All right. Just give me one second, guys. I just seen the movie, guys, um, and it is a dramatic improvement of the original movie this one actually made sense in terms of uh, characters motivation and um, the plot you know Steppenwolf had a legit reason of uh, wanting to get the model boxes now because before I think it was just for his own gain in the in the original one this time he's actually 
you know that he's a henchman for uh, Dark Seed or Dark Side, you know. So I felt like all the characters had more time to shine uh, in this particular uh, cut of the movie. So he has like a back to John. So he has like a uh, sort of like a human. A human face but um at the same time so I'm just gonna you know he sort of reminds me you know everybody's gonna compare him to uh, uh, Thanos they both have very humanoid uh, looking faces so Try to start. He has a really long nose, pointy nose, sort of like that. Go up. So, right now, I'm just trying to get the general shapes. So, nothing's gonna be uh, too final just yet. Some stuff might change. I just want to try to get a feel of where everything is going to be so the proportions might change the width of the nose might change you know right now I'm just trying to get a general idea of how I'm going to do this so he has that Super Saiyan Goku three eyebrows sometimes I like comparing a lot of things to Dragon Ball Z I don't know why I've been doing this since I was a little kid so he has those monkey eyebrows really you know like that so those brows are very thick so I'm just gonna use that and they're so thick that they go out they go out to the sides of his head they're pretty much like of, uh, uh, a prominent characteristic um, of his design is these gigantic brows that he has. If you guys can see that. So those are the brows. Just dropping them in there. And then also from the brows where his eyes are, he has these strong cheekbones. So I'm gonna sort of put that in now. Like put that in on the other side. Right now I'm staying very light. I can but I'm gonna um, get darker soon as long as stuff look right and since he's grinning I'm drawing him like with a really angry face I'm gonna be uh, where where the the mouth when you grin you know you can't just draw the mouth because when you grin it affects the nose and affects the cheekbones and the eyes so I'm just trying to reflect that here so it's not just the mouth especially if you're doing a more uh, somewhat realistic drawing and not too stylized to follow the basic principles of how the uh, face interact with, with each other like how the muscles on the face interact so now I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of his eyes All right so he has really small beady eyes 
So I'm not going to do, like I said, this one is going to be a combination of the, the Snyder cut and the comic. So I'm going to, um, his eyes are small, but at the same time, so sort of like that. The same thing for this side. small eyes but I don't want to open it too much you know and then and then the rest of it is gonna be sort of like in in shadow the rest of his eyes all right so then now that I got that down and then he has the textures. I'm not going to do the textures just yet. So. All right. Just going to make sure that this comes across. He sort of has like an old man uh, kind of face. So you're going to really see the wrinkles. Mad. All right. Just sort of the head right here. All right. So I'm trying to flush out the top of his head now. Just the oval, very oval shape head. And he has sort of like that Mega Man, the Mega Man helmet on. All right, so now that I got a little bit of the top part of his head down. So now which kind I'm gonna do like, he's trying to figure out what kind of, um, all right, so. doesn't have like an upper lip so it's gonna go like this but he does have sort of like a a little bit of a bottom lip So I'm going to give him a bottom lip. So yeah. And it just gets back thin over here. Like that. And he does sort of have like a, a very strong butt chin. Chin. So it's gonna be like that. And then now the base, the drum, the bottom base of his helmet. Uh, I don't know what to really call it. Maybe it's the battle armor that he wears on top of his head. Switch up the music.
now I'm gonna do the top part. So sort of Now I'm drawing the sides. The sides of his helmet. feel like um, side of the face a little bit. Right now I'm just trying to measure how far down this is going to go. Like right now I feel like I want to pull this back a little bit in terms of the direction it's going. So I'm going to like say that it's right here, and then I'm going to flare it out this way. Okay, then now I'm going to measure again. Cuts off somewhere right there. And then I'm going to bring it back down this way. Again, in this stage, I'm still trying to figure out how exactly do I want it to be tight on his face like right now I'm trying to figure out how whatever looks right to me so I feel like this should be higher so that's what I want to do I wanted to hug his face a little bit more like how it is so I'm going to bring this higher up like that and then I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. So it's gonna go up like this. And then it's gonna go up this way, like that. Bring this down, bring that down like that. Something like this. 
That looks a little bit better to me. And then these go down further. See, I was just trying to get the proportion right of his chin strap helmet, half helmet, you know, while trying to conform to, to the contours of his face where he's um, making this gesture. His teeth, I'm gonna do sort of realistic, sort of cartoony. So I'm gonna use a line as a guide of where I'm gonna line up the roll of his mouth. So it's not gonna stay like that because this is the cartoon uh, way. So since I'm gonna make it a little bit, just a little bit, like he has really effed up teeth, so. So I'm going to go a little bit more realistic. So I'm gonna, just going to just do that. I'm not, Right now, I'm not even thinking about, like, get it, like, correct in terms of which teeth is what. I'm just lining up the rows and, um, you know, that's all I'm doing. I'm not trying, I'm not really focusing on making sure that it's the right teeth. I'm literally just making chitlets, those chitlet candies. If you know what candy I'm talking about. And then what I'm gonna do after that, after I made my row of teeth, I go back, I'm gonna go back in, and sort of like make the gaps. Here it's like really dark, just like that. Again, even in this stage, I'm not really thinking too much about, uh, about details. I just want to get the basic. Uh, the basic pose down or gesture that he's making. So now that I have, uh, he has this coming through here. Now I'm going to start putting in minor details. I mean, a little bit of major detail, not minor, sorry. So I got the general sketch, I'm sort, sort of happy. Like I don't feel like I have to go back in and adjust too much to the uh, face. Just fleshing out the butt chin a little bit more. All right, and then I'm gonna come back in here. All here is like, in shadow, and you may have some like all this in shadow. So, I'm gonna do the same for this side, draw a little bit of that going up. This is in shadow. Just 
just like that. Since I have that done, now I can come back in here and get rid of some of this. Okay, so get rid of some of that. Join a little bit of his muscles here. His neck muscles. This is all his chest. Muscles. Like that. All right. So now I'm almost done with the the general idea of how I want this to be. So now I'm going to start doing more fine details. Note. Pretty much like the outline of of how I'm gonna lay down the textures, like like the wrinkles in his uh, skin, his skin texture, things like that. I'm gonna start doing the sketches for that, so that later on um, I can do real the real texture work. So. Dark seeds sort of have like these craters that looks like uh, sort of like I don't know I can't really call it stretch marks but it's sort of like crackling skin that's all coming from his um, eyes like whenever they draw it uh, like in a cartoon it's very simple and thick. But the, the realistic one, it looks like crackling skin, like veins coming directly from um, directly from his eyes. So that's that's all I'm doing right here. I'm trying to get. Just like that. Now that I have that done, he has also has uh, sort of like texture work and wrinkles uh, going up and down his face, around his brow. Some more texture work in here. Spots all around his face and in his eyebrows. So so that's all I'm doing here is doing light texture work, getting the spots down. in his nose some of the texture work that's in his nose right more wrinkles more dots more age spots whatever you call them making sure that I have that in and he also has like more wrinkles coming from and cracks texture work coming from uh, his mouth because his face sort of looks like ash and rock so that's all I'm doing I know it's 
harder to see. I can just bring the camera down a little bit. Bring it down some more so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, so. Wrinkles, little dots in his mouth. Okay, so now that I have that down, I'm gonna slowly start building in the the shading. Uh, let me make sure I get some of this highlight that's in his eye. A little highlight right there. Same thing right here. Here's a little highlight. All right. So now I'm gonna start. Put it in the groundwork, the first pass of the shingles of his face. And since now we're on to the shading, let's switch up again. Let's switch up the music. I'm just staying real light. Gradually build up his face. Sort of coming out of shadow. All right. Around his, uh, his eyes. All right. I'm using the, the shadow to form his eyes too. And under his eyes is really dark. So I'm gonna pay attention to that. Uh, once I get darker. fixing the top of his head, his helmet. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back, fix some of this uh, shading. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. It's not too dark or too light. Now it's just rendering back and forth. cheekbones going back and forth following the contours of his face starting really light 
not pressing too hard. shadow some of his uh, teeth is in shadow too right Did that makes sense and then for his eyes it's really dark under here shadow that's going up and around so a lot of shadow here under the helmet a lot of the light is coming from the top He'd always needs to get his mother box. I swear it was called the boom box. Uh, wasn't it called the boom box? I'm getting that confused with something else. I know it's called the mother box in the movie, but wasn't it something? Something was called the boom box in the Superman u universe. I forgot what it is though. Or maybe I'm getting confused with something else. Gradually building up his nose. His mouth is. Oh, this is in shadow. Oh, that is in shadow. under his under his uh, chin strap like that it's coming together this side
Okay. So now I believe we're safe to go a little bit darker. So this is the general uh, sketch. It's pretty much done. So now I'm gonna go in and get a little bit darker on the, a lot of the shadows. Like he has really shadow under the teeth here. So now I'm getting a little bit darker now. This was at 4H. I'm gonna go all the way down to a 2H and just start uh, bringing out the dark areas. Let me sharpen my pencil. So, so now I'm doing, pretty much going over it again, but this time with a 2H pencil, just a little bit darker, just to bring out the, the darker spots, start slowly building up the, the shadow areas and the textures. Okay, so going over, getting a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. Same for this side. All right, and then get a little bit darker, pressing a little bit harder here, slowly bringing it out. Same thing for where his cheeks are, slowly bringing it out. I'm gonna go in the darkest the f any spot that's furthest away from the uh, the light source that's what's gonna be really dark so I'm just getting the, the gradation for his nose dark right see how his nose is sort of popping out now and then from here a little bit darker on his mouth the outline of his mouth All the areas that the lighter parts that I shaded in before is I'm going to use that as a guide and just go over it again with this darker pencil but keeping in mind the areas that I want to leave light to not really touch those areas so just darkening the areas that I know that needs to be darker And this is a textured paper, so it's not as easy to get certain things dark, darker than you know you normally would. It'll be a little bit easier to get a lot of this stuff darker. So I'm just okay, adding a little bit of shadow in his teeth, a 
a little bit darker here. Sort of like that. All right. And then get in here where his lips are. Because it's very darker. sort of like blended it in uh, make sure that um, okay now I'm going back up to his nose a little bit darkening this area Same for this side, because it's darker in the crevices of his nose. I'm just treating every uh, part of his face where I have to darken like a gradient. That's all I'm doing. Now his eyes are little, looking very light, so I have to go in here and do the same thing. Darken his eyes, where his brows are. And then add the gradient there. Some of the textures are going to disappear, but um, those earlier texture work is mostly like a guide. It's more of a guide. So. Go back in. I emphasize that his eyes are really his really small eyes Only a little bit is going to pop out the rest of it is going to be colored in sort of like that if that makes sense a lot of rendering to get that side down and then I'm just going to do the same the other side well, I see that rendering going on all right all right and then sharpen my pencil a little bit more
and then I'm just going to use like a gradient to lightly some cross hatching to get uh, like a gradient on his forehead All right back up here and go darker in the darker areas Same thing up here. Bring that gradient down. Bring it back up. Digging deep in there, getting it a little bit darker. I want to go back to his eyes, make sure that it's darker where it needs to be. that gradient in his eyes, his brows, right? And the same thing going on this side. There's a little bit of a uh, gradient cross hatching here. But I'm just coloring and I'm not really cross hatching. On the right side I was, but this side I'm not cross hatching much. It's almost time for a change in music since we're going into the third and final stage soon of this drawing. So we're almost there. We're about 85% there. Almost there, guys. Time is it now? It is 8.36. So it's have been uh, I can't see what, how long we've been going, but oh we've been going for almost an hour. Good. So now I'm doing some more, trying to figure out what I want to stay uh, in shadow and what I want to leave. So I think I'm going to give this a basic, uh, put this basic in, in shadow like that. Really light. Same thing with this, this has a basic color over it. And anything that has a highlight, 
it's gonna be a little bit brighter. Same thing with the highlights. Uh, making sure that this have a color. Because it's not white, anything that has a color, I just make it gray. So he has like a blue, the blue, the blue chin, chin strap, strap, and it's not um, it's not white. So anything that's not white gets gray, grayed out. But I want his head to pop, so I'm not gonna make the background too, too dark. sort of like a portrait so I want this headpiece to pop out more alright guys if you just joined me I am drawing Dark Seed from Justice League alright Super dark areas, just like that. Like so, some cross hatching in there. All right, some cross hatching. Going back into the gradients and adding some of the darkest spots that I feel that are real dark. Letting those areas pop out a little bit more. together a little bit darker there All right now I'm going back in with a teeth word I'm just making the areas that need to be darker dark I gotta be careful with the eyes. Come in and get under the eyes. Just like that. Not
just like that. I'm gonna do the same for this side. Starter is coming together. So now I'm going to do the texture work I talked about earlier. This texture work. Has the spots and the cracks and the wrinkles that's in his eyes, so. texture work I'm putting back into his uh, face so he has like the because his face is sort of like rock so his, his face is crackling that's all I'm doing right now is going back in and adding a little bit of depth to the cracks that's in his face those cracks back in so all this is and then the, the little spots that he has because his face is sort of like rock so that's all I'm doing just going back in some of that texture back into the, the cracks that's in his face. Guys, if you're just joining me, I'm drawing Dark Seed or Dark Side from Justice League. I just recently saw the um, 
the Snyder cut and it was really awesome it was a lot better than the original one from 2017 dark seed um not dark seed steppenwolf had a has had motivation in this one so it was a lot it made a lot more sense superman came back back to life you know i don't i don't want to spoil anything for anybody who's um didn't watch the movie yet but it's a lot better uh than the original. A lot better than the original. wonder what I'm doing now I'm just adding back in the texture work that got erased when shading so that's all I'm doing right now just add it back in those textures and yeah if you haven't seen the movie yet you should um, it's a lot better like if you're a fan of uh, DC movies or just DC in general uh, the remake is really not remake but the I guess you could say it's a, well it's the original cut of how the movie should have been the first time around and it's, it's a lot better um, made a lot more sense characters that didn't get much screen time uh, in the original got a lot more screen time like Cyborg for example and um, and The Flash they were more crucial uh, to the plot compared to the original one Batman had a uh, better scenes, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, like, so much better. So much better. And now it's, it's sad because it's like, um, we may never see what the, that trilogy would have been since what we, what everybody just saw is not canon to the Justice League, uh, to the DC Universe, which sucks. No, it sucks. I don't want to get this to, to be too dark. Just dark enough. darker over here like really showing that he's making a a crowl a, like a 
skull and face. So that's what I'm doing here. And then sort of like giving this some text to work. Okay. Okay, this drawing is pretty much just about there in terms of finish. Just leave everything the way it is. Don't have to, um... But yeah, he was fun to draw, like... He was fun to draw because he's not human. Any, like, non-human characters are really fun to draw because you don't have to... Like, you, you could take liberties of, of, like, anatomy. So... You know, I want to make like a little bit of crumpling wrinkles on his nose. Make sure to put some texture work on his lips. Some texture work there. That is pretty much, this is pretty much it. Whoever's here with me, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, again, the edited version of this video is going to go up. It's going to be a, like the speed painting version where it's going to cut two hours into five minutes pretty much. So I'll probably put that up tomorrow. side of his nose could be a little bit better. There you go. A little bit better over here. And I could probably pull this in a little bit more. Let that darken like that. And then probably pretty much it thank you guys for joining me i really appreciate it be sure to subscribe if you're new here um again the speed painting version of this will be go up uh tomorrow or monday i'll put this up but again i appreciate it and i'll check you guys on another one you guys have a good night or good morning whenever you're watching this and i'll check you guys later thanks again
switch the music for the outro. What should I use? Where's my outro music? Crap. I guess that's gonna be the outro. <laughs> Check you guys later.